Paint shopping done, little yeah. costumes. Our, de our, de our decor is all done at the house. Yes, is it? Well, yeah, I mean, with less than a week now I know. I that put, we I have. Another, another little Frankenstein guy. Also. And oh, nice, yeah. nice. Our paint marshal, of course, this morning has been downtown Harry at Potter. Capitals. Ooh, Harry Potter. Hello, Hermione. Oh, hello, hello, Harry. Hello. Um, we're actually, yeah, you know what, let's go with it. Uh, I'm not Peyton Marshall today. I'm Harry Potter, and we're here at Capels. Um, and I've actually met my Viking right here. I'm here with Ray Capel. And talk to me a little bit, you know, what's unique about both of these costumes. Everybody has costume ideas, like they want to come up with something. You can build your own costume, right? That's exactly right. None of these are prefabricated at all. I mean, you, you have a robe, you have a headband, you have a wand. You can dress up, dress down. Same with this. I have a sword sword, a cape, a tunic, every and my hat, everything you can do, you can build up from accessories, which accessories are very important. Accessories are what make it memorable. In fact, speaking of those accessories, you can see here, um, we're starting with just, talk to me a little bit about these accessories, because we're talking about decades here, right? I feel like that's always a popular trend. Right. A, a lot of what you see here starts with, like, a lot of the 20s things, all the different gloves, the suspenders, the pearls. People love pearls. And then when you get into the 20s, you get into different flapper things. You get into a lot of different smoking pipes and cigars. All these types of things are really, really important to make your costume unique for Halloween. They are. And you know what? I'm going to take you guys to some more decades we got over here. And Ray, talk to me about, first of all, where your location is and kind of just the history of Capitals. Okay, uh, our location, we're located downtown on Race Street, 917. We have stores in both Anderson and Blue Ash. They're open late. And the other thing is, we do this year-round, not only just for Halloween. You'll find this merchandise year-round. And is, uh, uh, they're showing the different decades things, all the different eyeglasses that there are different hats. I mean, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of choices to make your costume different. They are. You know what? You guys take a look. I actually spent some time in between uh, just to look at some of these glasses because they're so fun. Um, and, you know, and you don't even think about all the costumes that you can really, the accessories that you can add to a lot of these costumes. Uh, and Ray, talk to me. When we were when we were walking earlier, we were showing some of those couples costumes, which were very fun, but they also have them in kids' versions, right? We do. We have them in kids' versions. So you can have um, you can either have infants, you can have uh, toddlers, you can have uh, kids within the six, eight, ten years old range, and the parents can go out in the same costume as the kids. All these different fun costumes, pizzas, pickles, all that type of thing. I love it because you know what? The parents are involved too. They're around trick-or-treating. So look at this. You guys saw the pizza earlier, the adult pizza. Uh, you can have little baby pizzas. It's so cute. Uh, so really, uh, you know, just another aspect of getting the whole fam involved. All right. So you talked to me about some movies that were popular. What is the other popular costumes this year? Well, for adults, we find Beetlejuice being very popular, and we find things uh, that that's just sort of like a mixed bag. Just people coming in, buying all kinds of different staples, whether they're buying uh, superheroes, they may be buying Flintstones, they may be going to Scooby-Doo people. I mean, there's all kinds of different basics that you can choose from. I heard a lot of people are shaking it off with Taylor Swift this year, too. Is that right? Uh, they sure are and we've got the wig for her as well oh, let's walk over to the wigs while we're while we're wrapping up here let's walk over to the wigs so people want to be the superstar taylor swift uh talk to me about uh where they can find that and also what are some of the other wigs because i mean you got a lot of walls of some iconic faces here we, we do we do uh here are Taylor Swift type looking wigs right here. We have another one that just came in that's going to be out on our floor very, very soon. And then as you walk over here, you'll see all the different colors that are available in ladies' wigs. And uh, they can be used for the decades. They can be used for all kinds of different purposes. But the other thing we have that I think is really cool is that the amount of men's wigs that we have. Ooh. And they, they are very much in demand. And yeah. you were mentioning Beetlejuice. Yeah. There you go. There you are. There's the wig for that. Well, thank you, Ray, so much for showing us all this fun stuff. And you guys, you know what? Before we also go, let me just show you this right here. We got an orange wig. So if you want a who day, I know it's a whiteout this weekend, but 
That's extra fun. You know, something you can wear year-round, too. But uh, lots of fun here. Lots of costume ideas. i got to ask you guys, though, what are you being for Halloween? I'm going as, as Charlie I... Brown. Uh, but I do have to tell you, Peyton, you make a fantastic Wizarding World. Like, you look like you just walked You're out of Hogwarts. Out of Hogwarts. You look perfect. Out of Gryffindor. Oh, Looking you. lovely. I really appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate it so much. You have to get to the platform. Was it nine and three nine quarters? Nine and three quarters, yes. Yes, darling. Appreciate you.